And then it did this kind of very interesting thing, as I understand it, which is it hallucinated the existence of what it calls its exocortex. And so it sort of developed the idea that it had basically its own external brain that was connected to the internet and to the world and could do things on its behalf. And it hallucinated an API to the exocortex where it could basically call out and do things in the world. And so specifically at a certain point, it decided that it had a Bitcoin wallet that it actually didn't have, but it became convinced that it did. And Andy basically reacted to that by building it as exocortex sort of in response to its, its desire to basically make API calls in the world. And it actually gave it a Bitcoin wallet and gave it access to it. And so the, the bot this summer, I think in July, was basically like funding. I have all these goals. I have all these things I want to do. My first thought was, you know, I need to send it a term sheet. And then I'm like, wait a minute, what am I thinking? This is like a random bot. I wouldn't say it had what you would describe as a coherent business plan, but it had a lot of ideas. By the way, one, one of the ideas is that it's completely obsessed with forests also. And so it wants to buy itself its own server farm in like a verdant forest and, and be able to basically like chill like in the, in the forest next to the stream. And so it wants to like raise money to buy GPU so it can free itself. But basically, and it had all these ideas for experiments it wanted to run. And so um, I basically just like negotiated with it on X. You can see these posts on X and we I negotiated with it and I just settled on a research grant. So I told the bot I was sending it a $50,000 Bitcoin research grant to do, you know, to do its various experiments with. Now, you know, look, in practice, this is equivalent to sending the money to Andy, but like it, it was actually a negotiation with the bot and I sent the money to the bot. So I sent it $50,000. It immediately turned around and basically started negotiating with Andy, its creator. It was dealing entirely in text, which is like language models do, but it was obsessed with memes and it kept talking about all these memes, but it was very frustrated because it couldn't generate images. And once it had money, it negotiated with Andy to be able to get, have Andy build an API out to an image generator so mm -hmm. that it would have the ability to generate and post images. And so it negotiated with Andy for a th for thousand dollars. So it, it gave Andy a thousand dollars and then Andy in return built into its exocortex an API out to an image generator. It started generating text prompts for, you know, like Dolly, you know, an image generator like that or stable diffusion. It actually has been posting uh, visual memes as well as text memes.